Okay guys, welcome back to another video coaching lesson with YourSixPackQuest.com. We're talking about one of my favorite topics. The question I get asked all the time is, Vince, how do you lose belly fat? I can't get rid of my belly fat. And you see a lot of muscular guys in the gym, fantastic physiques, great pecs, great shoulders, great arms, but then they got a little pot belly. What's going on with that? Well, I can tell you a couple things. First thing is that your diet sucks. You like your beer too much. You're not sleeping enough, you got too much stress in your life, and your calories are too high. Now, get back on track here. Let me tell you what my program is all about because it's all about losing belly fat, but it doesn't involve any of the things that a lot of people tell you that are going to help lose it. For example, you aren't going to see any abductor, adductor machines, you aren't going to see any ab rollers, you aren't going to see any diet pills, you aren't going to see any ellipticals in my program. Let me tell you some of the things that will contribute to getting rid of your body fat. And realize there's so many things that are gonna contribute to losing your body fat. So depending on where you are today, consider this, you know, the alphabet from A to Z. We're not trying to go from A to Z in one week. We're gonna go from A to B to C to D, and that's how you get to the end goals. Inch by inch, life is a cinch. Yard by yard, life is hard. So what we need to do is apply one new technique each week measure the result and if it continues to work we keep it if it doesn't we need to introduce something else so for most people most common mistake in trying to lose their belly fat is that you're probably doing outrageous amounts of cardio three problems with cardio I've talked on this before is first problem is that there's no afterburn effect when you leave the gym your metabolism stops burning problem number two the more cardio you do the more efficient you become at it problem number three is that the more cardio you do, the more muscle you strip off your body. And what's muscle responsible for? Muscle is responsible for jacking up your metabolism, keeping it elevated all day long so you're a fat burning machine. That's why when you and your friend, think of it this way, let's say you and your friend go to the movies and he or she has more muscle on your body than you do. Well he or she is going to burn more calories just sitting there watching the new Indiana Jones movie than you just because their muscle is an active tissue. Okay. So you got to get more muscle in your body. How are you going to do that? Well, cardio isn't going to add more muscle to your body. Cardio is going to make you from a big pair to a small pair. We need to incorporate high intensity resistance training. Now here's where my program blows away a lot of the other programs out there. A lot of people focus on resistance training only on one element. They focus on strength. So they focus on getting stronger and stronger. And that's fantastic, but it neglects speed, conditioning, force. Those are other elements that we need to focus on on creating that metabolic demand. That's the stuff we need to focus on exhausting your energy stores, creating the hormonal responses to create that caloric deficit so that you truly lose the fat. Another element of losing the belly fat is interval training. And not just interval training. You guys have probably heard this over and over again that you know going hard for a minute, then easy for a minute, hard for a minute, for 20 minutes is more effective than a long, slow 60 minute workout. And for most people it's going to be because it's something your body has never done before and it's going to say holy crap this is really hard how long is this going to last I better dig up some energy or I'm not going to make it and that's when your body digs down into the stubborn fat store specifically in your belly so another alternative to interval training is hard tempo training remember the greater amount of calories that you burn is going to burn a greater percentage of fat so don't underestimate the value of just going for a hard 30 minute run or a hard 45 minute run, preferably something on an incline so you're working your glutes and your hamstrings. Walking on a treadmill isn't going to do much because you're only going to target your calves. I'm throwing a lot of information at you so hopefully you're taking notes and you're going to take one or two of those pieces of the device and apply in a step by step fashion. If you throw all that change into your program right away, you're not going to be able to monitor the effect. You're not going to know what's contributing to what. So those are some tips on how to burn belly fat. If you want the complete system, the same system Peter Carvel used to lose 100 pounds. We got this entire transformation on video. He lost 100 pounds in six months. This guy went from 276 pounds. He was on the verge of diabetes. He was 28 years old to getting down 176 pounds with a six pack. I was able to help him and you can be next too. So check out the entire system and let's get rocking. I want to see your transformation. I want to see your six pack. Thank you